You've got mail, baby, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, Jeff uh, Hubie's Garage, and uh, I'm going to do something today that I haven't done in a long time. In fact, I haven't done it ever. So, uh, finally decided to get all my mail together, and uh, got a bunch of things that just came in recently, because I had sent out stickers, and had a lot of guys uh, send me stickers back. So, I uh, have a couple items that I've uh, had open before, but I'm going to go ahead and do an actual mail call here at Hubie's Garage. So uh start with the mail and then i'll start with some goodies that actually came in the mail uh, as far as some items that i've ordered that uh, might give you a little look-see at uh, what's coming up here in the future so anyway let's uh give it a start so let's see looks like the first one we got here uh let's see let's cut this open all right looks like this is from shaky Shaky's Garage. All right, I got a sticker with a little note here. It says, my daughter was playing around and made these stickers. I'm going to have stickers from Sticker Hub made soon. Shaky. All right. Well, these look great. Came out really nice. Your daughter did a nice job on these. I got some daughters that are doing art uh, also. And uh, looks like these came out really nice. If you guys haven't been over to Shaky's... Uh, Shaky's got a channel, but I don't know that he's really doing videos. I know uh, his brother, uh, Rick, over at Poor Possums. Uh, if you go over to Poor Possums, uh, Rick, his brother, has actually done a walkthrough at Shaky's uh, garage. And Shaky has uh, some pretty cool stuff over there. He's got a 55 Chevy that looks a lot like my Street 55 Uh red and white one so you might want to go over there and check that out check out rick at poor possums while you're at it so all right so i'll set that one aside that's a nice sticker uh next one up we got uh steve from rusted junk garage steve man what a great uh great channel over there and uh that he's got going on steve has a you heard me talk about my historical gasser well steve has a historical daily driver a, a, a historical what i would call a a survivor uh and the car is uh i think it's got a long family history it's from what i remember it's his aunt's car and she was a school teacher it's a 56 chevy with a six cylinder i'm sorry 57 chevy 210 two-door sedan and um Beautiful car, uh, low miles, it's an original, like I say, Survivor. Steve drives it every once in a while. Steve has an awesome, awesome 55 Chevy shop truck, and then he's got a drag car, I believe it's a Chevelle. So um, Steve's been a great supporter of my channel, and Steve uh, sent out a rusted junk garage sticker from Steve there. So great channel, get over there and check check him out and give those guys a sub uh give steve a sub over there he's got some great great projects okay the next one is from uh mike at uh, mike's 55 chevy garage and I tell you boy you want to see a tri-5 chevy that's been torn down like no other mike has a 55 bel air hardtop that uh i have never seen a tri-5 torn down and had so much sheet metal replaced as much as I've seen this one replaced. Uh, wow, it's gonna be a beauty. And uh, Mike has just done some just incredible, exceptional metal work. And uh, he's even done more tearing down his 55 than I have, or that I should say Newt has, with the uh, uh, Newt at the Nitro Garage has done with the Del Rey. Uh, Mike even went so far as to put a new roof on this hardtop. And he's got some skills. You can learn a lot from that guy. Wow. He's got a great sticker here. Um, looks like he said he's got a little note here. And says thanks for the stickers and thanks for the support. So from Mike. Well, here's Mike's sticker here from Mike's 55 Chevy Garage. I would imagine that his 55 is going to come out fairly close to the picture here. Uh, but uh, the only way that you'll know for sure is to get over and check out his shop. 
and what he's doing with that 55 hardtop it's a beauty he's uh he's getting real close real close for paint and i know he's got a harley and he's he might have a couple other uh projects that you might see on there too but uh, that 55 hardtop he's got some mad skills over there he's done a lot of metal work with that car uh good guy to follow okay um oh we got brad from montana garage so let's see what brad has sent here uh Brad's one of the guys that I reached out to in the very beginning when I was thinking about doing a channel. And uh, he was a great, great encouragement with uh, telling me to, uh, to go for it, to, to make it happen. And uh, wow, Brad didn't disappoint with stickers here. Uh, got a note. I had sent him some stickers. He's saying, thanks for the stickers. They're pretty cool. Uh, I could have swore I sent some, but guess I didn't. So here you go, <laughs> Brad. Awesome, Brad. I tell you, I love these. Uh, Brad has got, oh gosh, I believe he has his uncle's uh, 57 Chevy sedan delivery that's got a Hillborn injected big block Chevy in it, old drag car. And uh, Brad has inherited that car. He's got that one. He's got the old DD Speed Shop 57 four-door that uh, Dan had drug out of the field. Up in Canada, uh, Brad had won that at uh, Montana Garage. Uh, he also has, uh, I believe it's a 69 Chevelle that uh, is not seen as much on the channel, but the primary car uh, is his 55 Bel Air two-door sedan. Uh, his story with that car is very similar to my 55 Bel Air two-door sedan in that he's had it since a young age. Did a lot of drag racing with the car. Car's been through a few uh, changes over its life, and right now he's doing a frame off restoration on it. Uh, really doing. I just got done putting a roll bar in the car, and uh, I tell you, if you haven't been over to see Brad at Montana Garage, you need to get over there and see him. But uh, gotta say, I really like this uh, sticker here that shows the '57 sedan delivery, and this one is near and dear to my heart is second sticker and that is the actual state of montana so i uh have that state in my future uh the next hubie's garage shop uh will be there um i'm gonna be oh well, probably over on the western part of montana i think brad's a little bit more central south central uh area of montana a few hundred miles away, but I definitely will be seeing Brad over there. Uh, so if you haven't checked him out, go over there and check out his uh, work that he's done on all those Tri-5s. And uh, you won't be disappointed. So, okay, got one more. And that is from Big Mike at Big Mike's Hoopty Barn. And uh, Big Mike is one of the original guys... Uh, one of the Mopar guys that I had met through, oh gosh, I had met him through Bear Rose Garage. And uh, I actually won something on one of his lives. I won a uh, Bluesmobile um, Hot Wheel because uh, Big Mike collects Hot Wheels. But Big Mike has a, uh, I believe it's a 66 Charger that he just bought. He's uh, working on that a little bit. He's also working on... Oh gosh, I think it's called the Green Goblin. I think it's a 73 Charger that he's uh, putting a, a big 440 in right now. I hope I didn't mess that up, but uh, you know, I, I don't uh, I don't always speak Mopar. Um, so, but uh, the other thing that's great about Big Mike, besides his big heart, is Big Mike does a lot of uh, well, it's just living living stuff that he does on the channel. Uh, they do a lot of things for self-reliance. They do a lot of things, uh, farm life and stuff that you can do to be better prepared in case you need to be out there on your own and, and um, you know, self-sustaining. And that's uh, something that Big Mike's done with his fishery. He's got all kinds of antics and flea marts and uh, stuff that he does with the family. Uh, you know, date nights that he goes out with Mama Hoopty, which you never know what they're going to run into. Uh, fun stuff. Great channel. If you get a chance, go over there and check out Big Mike's Hoopty Barn. And lo and behold, the Bluesmobile. Here 
he sent it. Now, I had won this from him quite some time ago, um, but uh, this was in the uh, live that I was on. And, uh, and then later on, I did get something from him. Uh, he was talking about sending it. And this was right after I had did the video on my wife's 57 Chevy Bel Air four-door wagon. Uh, it was, you know, it was kind of had a sad ending to it. And I think uh, that kind of tugged at old Big Mike's heartstrings. So he sent me a note uh, as well as a car. And it was one of his Hot Wheels uh, in his collection that he had. And he said, every time I look at this car, I think about the one that got away. And that was the 57 Bel Air four-door wagon that I had built for my wife and uh, he was just thinking of me so he sent me this 57 sedan delivery that kind of reminded him of that wagon as well as the Big Mike Hoop Big Mike's Hoopty Barn sticker so this is what uh, I got from Big Mike and Mike I gotta thank you for all that it's uh, really awesome uh, really appreciate the note brother that's just that's just great stuff great stuff Okay, a uh, couple other items. I got a couple items. I had been out to Newt's. Newt had given me a couple of stickers. Newt is one of the officers in the Brotherhood of Street Racers. This was uh, Big Willie Robinson, uh, who started this organization in Southern California. It was a street racing organiza organization that brought street racers from all walks of life all together. And they ran on the same common ground of street racing and hot rods, and everybody got along. And we had a drag strip out here uh, called Brotherhood Raceway, and I tell you, it, it was like no other. I got to go there and spectate there a lot. Uh, they had stuff to do for racers, stuff to do for kids. There was no fighting, none of that stuff. It was all good time, and it was all hot rods and uh, racing and um uh, Newt from the Nitro Garage uh, has been with uh, that organization for a long time, so he gave me a couple of stickers. I also got a couple of stickers from Bruce Boardman. You might have saw one of these on the windshield of the historical gasser. These uh, were a couple of stickers that Bruce had sent me um, or gave me when I went to the race and just thought I'd share those with you guys. And then, haven't really gotten into it yet, but... Uh, the Del Rey, the gasser uh, that we're building, that Newt's got out there right now. Um, I got something that I've been looking for for a long time. It's not really a big, big deal, but uh, my dad years and years ago worked at an auto parts store uh, called P&M Auto Parts and Garage. Um, it was a place that uh, everybody went to for car parts um, when they were running the gasser back at Lions Drag Strip back in the day. Uh, p and was one of their sponsors, and over the years it got torn down, uh, the owners passed away, uh, a lot of, you know, the internet wasn't out, it, it probably was, went defunct back in the mid-70s, and um, there was nothing out there that you could find that was related to p and Auto Parts. Well, I was on eBay, and I just happened to find this matchbook cover, and it's got the original information from P&M Auto Parts. Now the reason that I decided to get this is because we're putting together the gasser, the Del Rey, and it's going to be a recreation of my dad's uh, degas car that he ran at Lyons. P&M was one of the sponsors. We're going to paint and letter the car exactly the way that my dad had it when he ran it down the drag strip at Lyons. We are going to make it a street and strip car but it is going to be fully lettered, and one of the sponsors that was actually on the trunk lid was P&M Auto Parts. So, uh, just kind of nice to have something that ties back to them that shows that they were actually a real live business and that they were out there. So, cool deal finding something from them, and lo and behold, it was on eBay. So, okay, well, um, two uh, two more items that came in the mail, stuff that I had ordered. Um, this was something that arrived uh, just recently here, and I haven't opened it yet, but I think I know what it is, and I'll see if anybody might be able to figure this out. It's just something for the future here that I'm going to be working, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know if any of you guys have seen these before. Maybe some of you Volkswagen guys might know these things. Anyway, this is a 
sync synchrometer. This is what you use to sync multiple carburetors. Something that you'd use on a pair of Weber's, pair of Delordos, pair of Cadrones. That's what the Volkswagen guys use these things for. Well, it also works great for a set of Hillborns. So I have ordered a synchro synchrometer uh, and we're going to start sinking the butterflies on the Hillborns because after running out at uh, the Moon Eye show, you guys saw the car need some tuning. And uh, this is one of the primary tools that they tell you to use. Um, they're in the, um, uh, that, that Hillborn tells you to use. So, okay. Got one last item. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if I can tear this open here. And I think this will say it all. It's a how-to book, and you know what? It's time that I learn. It's time that I get to be an expert at these mechanical fuel injectors. This is a book that's been out there. Um, just decided I'm going to go through it. This guy, uh, I think his name is Ron Zabo or Bob Zabo. He's uh, got quite a few books on fuel injection, so I just decided to order one. It's now here. I've got something that I can go through and look at. I've got a list of order of items that I've got to do to tune the Hillborns. I've got one of the tool tools to tune the Hillborns. And, uh, you know, we're going to get into some serious tuning on this car coming up because I got another race to run. End of May, there's another race. So I'd like to try to get some serious tuning done on the car. I'd like to get uh, the Hillborns dialed in. And I also want to get the timing set up uh, just right with the mag. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I might be able to add a couple more items that I talked about in the past. And we'll see how it does. We've got the Antique Nationals coming up at the same racetrack. Another eighth mile track. I may switch out the 586 gears and go to my 614s. Because you probably saw where I was basically pulling fourth gear in the lights. And... That's not what I want to do. Actually, the car should be RPMing a lot faster, and it should be hauling the mail a lot faster, and I should already be into fourth gear by that time. But, you know, it just didn't happen the last race. We know the tuning, the tune was way off. There was, there was, there was no tune on it. So this tool, this book, we'll see how it goes. So this is where it all begins. You know, the, a lot of the, the unfortunate thing for me is a lot of my Hillborn guys have passed away. Um, the one guy that I have, or that I was my number one go-to, uh, Don Enriquez uh, from the old Adams and Enriquez days, uh, a fuel dragster. Uh, Don has uh, moved to Tennessee, so he's out there in Tennessee, and a little more difficult to get a hold of him. And, um, you know, I'm just going to try to learn everything I can on my own. I mean, guys back in the 50s and 60s when they bought these Hillborns, they were learning everything. You know, they didn't have anybody to teach them. So, uh, you know, it's time for me to learn. And, uh, you know, maybe I can wade my way through this. So it was something that got my dad. My dad had struggles with it. I know one of our racers had a set of Hillborns on for about two races, and he went back to carburetors. So... Guys ran them, cars ran records with them. Why can't I do that? There's no reason why I can't. I'm going to learn. So that's that. Um, that's pretty much it as far as the mail. I just really wanted to reach out to everybody and uh, give you guys a big, big thank you for all of the love and the support that I've gotten on the channel. You guys have been awesome with the comments. You guys have been supportive. You guys have been fired up. Uh, you've been motivating me, you've been keeping me going, and, uh, you know, I have just met some incredible friends along the way from, you know, subscriber number one to subscriber number 1,000. Uh, I know who both of you are. Uh, you guys are great guys. And, um, you know, I'm, I think even today I'm probably at 1250, uh, on the subs. So things are climbing, things are, uh, you know, I'm just really blessed with this. This, this, uh, YouTube channel was something that I never really set out to do. I didn't think a guy my age would be running a YouTube channel, but you know, here it is. Uh, you know, I'm kind of trying to find a new way uh, through life, trying to, you know, 
obviously ran into a de detour uh, with cancer with my wife and uh, you know retiring from the fire department so it was kind of like what do I do well you know what I'm gonna go back to what I knew before I was married and before I had kids and that was the cars and luckily I still had two of those actually I still had both cars um, that was one thing that my wife was great about she never came to me and told me sell those cars she allowed me to keep them and now here it is you know I'm in my 50s and I'm retired and I still got the cars I got the car 10 feet away from me here and it was the car that I bought when I was 15 years old and I still have it and the gasser I bought that in 1991 uh, you know I was in my 20s and my dad and I got to run that car and have a great time with it just like the previous owner Dennis and his dad did with it and uh, as well as the, the team of guys who ran that car and uh, made that car famous so uh, just want to thank you guys thank you for a thousand uh, I'm gonna try to do my best to just keep things going keep getting the content out keep uh, answering all your questions and comments and uh, again I'm just I'm just so thankful it's very humbling to think that that many people uh, are subscribed to me and, and want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> that, that, that blows me away. So uh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, lots more to come. And I just uh, want to thank you all for coming along for the ride. Thanks and take care guys.